Hello everyone, in this lecture, we will study about charge injection cancellation. The dependence of charge injection upon the input level that what we have seen in the last lecture make it very necessary to seek methods of cancelling this effect of charge injection so as to achieve a higher F that is trigger. Okay, so now consider such techniques to uh, see the effect of channel injection cancellation. So the very first technique we postulate that the charge injected by the main transistor this M1 can be removed by means of a second transistor as shown in this figure 25 a dummy switch m2 driven by a ck dash okay inversion of this clock which is applied to m m1 we have applied m2 to m2 and what we have seen is this m2 is added to the circuit such that after m1 turns on this m2 turns off and the channel charge that is deposited by the former on ch is absorbed by the latter to create a channel okay so note that both the source and drain of m2 are connected to the output node so this is the circuit in which what we are doing we are adding a dummy device to reduce charge injection and clock feed through okay so this is simply whatever the charge which has been deposited by this m1 is absorbed by the latter to create the channel this is one technique then the another technique is to lower the effect of uh, charge injection is it incorporates both pmos and nmos device such that the opposite charge packets injected by the two cancel each other for del q1 to cancel this del q2 we must have wl1 cox in brackets vck minus v minus vth vth and is equals to w2 cox v minus vthp this is simple the charge equation this we have taken from the current equation the drive the charge that is this for nmos the m1 and this for pmos that is m2 okay and the cancellation occurs for only one input level even for clock feed through the circuit does not provide complete cancellation because the gate drain overlap capacitance of n fat is not equal to p fat so this in this approach it shows the use of complementary switches to reduce the charge injection we have applied the approach to cancel the charge produced by this del q1 with del q2 now okay now in this the problem of charge injection may also be relieved through differential operation as shown in this figure 28 we summarize that channel charge injection appears as a common mode disturbance okay we can write this del q1 as wl cox vck minus vn1 minus vth1 and del q2 can be written as in this case wl cox vck minus v2 minus vth this is simply vgs minus vth in this case this gate to source voltage okay gate to source voltage is vck minus v into in case of m2 and gate to source voltage in case of m1 is vck minus v m1 okay we can recognize that del q1 is equals to del q2 only if this v in one is equals to v into these two equation will be equal or in other words we can say the overall error is not suppressed for differential signal okay the technique both removes the constant offset and it lowers the non-linear components okay what we can do this can be understood by writing we can write that del q1 minus del q2 subtracting both the equation like we can write del q1 minus del q2 as equals to w l cox V in two minus V in one plus V T H two minus V T H one. Okay, from the above equations, we have taken these equations from the above equation, or we can also write it as W L C O X 
in brackets b n two plus b n one. So there will be a minus sign. This is simply minus plus gamma two phi f. Simply substituting the value of VTH threshold voltage. Okay, V into minus under root two phi f plus V in one. Okay, bracket closed. So this is pretty simple. We can have write it that del Q one minus del Q two, taking the differential component, and this will be equal. Del Q one will equal to Del Q two only if this V N one is equals to V N two. So these are the techniques for channel injection cancellation. The three techniques. In first, we have used the dummy switch to cancel, and in the second technique, we have used complementary switch to reduce charge injection, and in third technique, we have seen the this differential signal. Okay, the differential sampling circuit to reduce the charge. Injection, okay, and in this technique, this lowers the constant offset as well as the nonlinear component. In the next lecture, we will start with unity gain sampler or buffer. Thank you.